Hey guys, it's Miss Hollingsworth, and I'm back with more comma excitement. Are you at the edge of your seat? I bet you are. I'm totally kidding. But still, we are moving on with commas. Okay, so rule number three for commas. First one was commas and dates. We talked about that on Tuesday. Second one was commas separating geographical locations. So city and state or city and country. We talked about that on Wednesday. So commas in a series is a little more complicated. So we're going to work on that today and tomorrow and actually on Monday, okay? So let's look at this rule and let's break it down. Use a comma to separate a series of words, phrases, or independent clauses. All right, let's back the truck up. Uh, I don't know what independent clauses means. I don't know what phrases means, but I know what a word is. So we're going to start right there in easy land, okay? So let's look at an example. My best friends are Natalie... Alma and Zoe. So after Natalie, you put a comma. After Alma, you put a comma. And then you don't need one after Zoe because that's just the end of the sentence, right? And you don't need one after and because that's not part of your list, okay? Um, when I was a kid, this was called commas um, in a list. But series makes so much more sense, okay? So, um, this writer is using the comma to work, sep separate separate words, to separate words, individual words, just one word, Natalie, Alma, Zoe. All right, so we're gonna practice. Um, let's try to write a sentence that lists three of our favorite foods. All right, so this is mine. Pizza, cupcakes, and tacos are my three favorite foods. Now I want you to notice we don't, we don't need a comma after tacos. That's the end of our list. We just need two. Even though there's three things in the list, you only need two commas. Pizza, comma, cupcakes, comma, and tacos. Now, what if I had five things on my list? Well, then I need four commas. What if I had said pizza, comma, chicken, comma, cupcakes, comma, and tacos? are my three favorite foods. But you do not need a comma after the last item in the list. You do need not need a comma after and, because that would just sound weird, now wouldn't it? Um, listen to how that would sound. Pizza, cupcakes, and tacos are my three favorite foods. Yeah, that's why we don't put a comma there, because it tells us to stop and take a breath. And that just sounds janky, doesn't it? Pizza, cupcakes, and tacos are my three favorite foods. All right, so this one's really easy. I want you to head over to 